zero to the power of zero. Is it one? Let's find out. <laughs> In order to figure this one out, let's take a look at a squared and a to the power of one, where a is just a number that we don't know yet. Now, a squared means you take a and you multiply it by itself. So a should occur twice. You're multiplying a by itself you see it twice. Now, a to the power of 1 means you multiply a by itself, but you can only write down a once, which means anything to the power of 1 is just itself. But what happens when you have power 0? Now, 0 to the power of 1 is 0, just like a to the power of 1 is a. Now, if I want to get 0 to the power of 0, I could do something cool here. I could divide this number by itself, because if I do 0 to the power of 1 divided by 0 to the power of 1, when we divide two numbers with the same place, we subtract the powers. 1 minus 1 is 0. But then, that would mean I need to divide by 0 on both sides. But what is 0 to the power of 0? Well, actually, it's not 0, and it's not infinity. It's undefined. What does this statement even mean? Well, division just means repeated subtraction. This is saying, how many zeros do you need to subtract from 0 to get 0? 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 minus 0 minus 0 is 0. Is it 1? Is it 2? Is it 4? There's no definitive answer, which means this is an undefined statement. And therefore, it cannot be 1. Nice. Follow me for more crazy mass content like this. <laughs>